Oh boy, this maniac's gonna drive. So we're in Soho right now. Where do we need to go? Back to the NYPD, you would think, right? I don't know. Let's go back. Okay. Well, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I'll double check here. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Talk to the captain again. See if he has anything to say. He's not here. Shit. That sucks. I thought he was gonna give me some guidance or something. <sighs> Let's go back to the weapons room. Some ammo. If you ever see gun trading cards around, bring them here. Trading cards? Fitting for a simpleton like you. Freaking geezer. Oh. Alright, I should put... If I have junk, I should put it here. Yeah. Store... Oh, discard junk? I'm gonna store these keys. Oops. I miss clicking everywhere. There we go, put all the junk in. Good. Alright, I think that's good. There we go. There, I sorted my uh, my inventory. That worked nicely. All right, let's get out of here. <clears throat> oh wait, someone just gave me a tip in the stream chat. They said if you discard the junk, you get stuff for it. I didn't know that. Okay, hold on. I'll take it back and discard it. God damn it. I didn't get anything. I didn't get any anything for the junk well fuck this I got nothing for it oh come on people are saying that's the wrong way to discard what the fuck why would the game have two different ways to discard and one way you get stuff the other way you don't are you fucking serious 
Fuck this stupid shit. I don't even give a fuck. Let's get out of here. Stupid shit. Oh, if you discard one way but not the other way, you get something for it. But you must discard this the proper way. Fuck this. That is dumb shit. Let's go to the museum. Let's put two menu options in the same exact guy, and they both say discard, but one works and one doesn't. Yeah, okay. Alright, where to? Is there any, any place with a research facility? Research facility? I'd like to conduct an experiment and test something. It might be relevant. How about the facility in the museum where Clamp is at? Or Clump? They had really extensive, expensive equipment. Extensive equipment. I thought it was... Forget it. Just go. No way, man. Nowhere but there. Anywhere but there. You should have been evacuated by now. It should be okay. Er, yes, that sounds good. Daniel, is that okay? I'm expecting a big tip for this. <laughs> yes, because cops always ask for tips. Alright, here we are. So this is the American Museum of Natural History. It's just as I imagined. I can find a research facility in this building? Yeah, hopefully we won't run into the jerk who runs who runs it. Since he's been evacuated, it should be empty. Yeah, all right. Why do I get the feeling it won't be? Hmm, for a lab in a museum, it does have fairly extensive equipment. So what do you want want to test? Yes, yes, of course. Let me see. I was able to extract a gel-like substance from Aya's clothing. Gel? Is it from Eve? Yes, it appears to be a remnant of Eve's cells. At the cellular level, her power cannot be as strong as Aya said previously. Ow! Hey, what are you doing? I just want to conduct this experiment to see whether or not... Uh. Hmm. Yes, yes. This is exactly exactly as I. It's just as I thought. Go ahead and take a look. What is it? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. It's a full motion video. Infected mitochondria! Shells are completely surrounded by them. As you can see, the mitochondria, or Eve, has taken over the nucleus. In a similar manner, the beast that attacked you probably experienced the same thing. Does the mitochondria really have the power to control the nucleus? No, the normal mitochondria never has had such never has such power. Eve's mitochondria has gone through tremendous evolutionary changes. This is what I think happened to Eve's mitochondria. Normally, mitochondria require oxygen when they generate energy called ATP. So at this time, the mitochondria requests oxygen from the nucleus. Without the energy supply from the mitochondria, the nucleus cannot function. So in essence, the two organelles constantly rely on each other. But in this case, it seems that Eve developed the power to reverse the symbiotic relationship. Evolution or either mutation seems likely in this case. Reverse the cycle? Look at this. Even with a limited number of cells, her cells have much, this much power. Can you imagine how much power Eve has within her whole body? Ma Maeda, yes? 
Could you test my cells? Uh, yes, of course, but I want to know. I want to know why I have the power to fight her. I want to know where I stand with her. Aya, please, Maeda, I need to know why. Yes, of course. Thanks, Maeda. Could you step over here, please? Yeah, so then the creationists were watching me play this game. They stormed in and ended the playthrough. They stormed in and shut down the stream. No, no, this is not true. None of this is true. <laughs> I'll need your arm. Like this here. Yes, yes. Ow! Let me just set this up here. He goes, huh? I think you better see for yourself. What is it? Is something wrong? Yeah, it's the same. Her cells are just like Eve's, I guess. <laughs> yes, this is all happening right there on his, uh, on his little, uh, microscope. Do you realize what is happening? Your mitochondria are supplying more energy to the nuclei of your cells. It's almost as if they're protecting the nuclei from Eve's mitochondria. Why does Aya's mitochondria have this kind of power? I don't know, I just... Are you familiar with Richard Dawkins' theory of the selfish gene? In simple terms, it states that genes act in a manner to preserve and endure survival of the species. Hey man, I don't read those scientific journals, what are you trying to say? Depending on how you look at it, you can say that Eve is trying to destroy all mitochondria except her own. In response to that, Maya's, Aya's mitochondria has developed the power to rebel. Why only Aya's? Shouldn't it be the same for us as well? We should also have the power based on... That seems to follow the natural order of things, but I'm sorry, I don't know why. Paul? Professor? What are you doing in my lab? This is breaking and entering. It's clump. Why haven't you evacuated the city yet? I'm asking why you people are in my lab. We were just... We received orders to evacuate the city. Professor, you really should. I tell you, cops are the ones corrupting this fine city. I, I'm sorry, it was my fault. You see, I asked them to bring me here. Who the hell are you? Oh, I'm Kun Kunihiko Maeda, and I'm a scientist from Japan. I'm using my electronic microscope. Whoa, what is this? Where did you get this specimen? You? Where did you get these cells? Those are... I, I don't know. He lied. It's, he didn't tell him his eye is cells. Do you take me for a fool? With cells like these... They must affect the body's natural state. Er, um, uh... Oh, shut up. I'll just ask Officer Brea. Your cells contain a tremendous amount of energy. Do you feel any bodily changes? I... You should feel somewhat hot, no? Speak up, Officer. I can't hear you. Have you lost consciousness any time recently? Hey! Hey, what the hell is this? Why is my boy's name here? Lorraine? Lorraine's on here too? Clap, you tell me. You, you tell me what this list is for. Tell me, you hear? <laughs> He's gonna beat the shit out of him. Let go of me. I don't have to tell you anything. What? Daniel, calm down. Daniel. Damn. Angry black man. What a nice stereotype the Japanese are listing here. Get out of here. What the hell? Sorry to disturb you, but we have to officially warn you of the evacuation. Please remember that. Officer Brea, do you enjoy having that barbarian for a partner? Uh, uh, no, thank you, er, bye. <laughs> Uh, 
It's too late now. It's too late to do anything now. So why did he have a list with Daniel's family on it? They didn't even explain. They didn't freaking explain. I don't know. Huh. Weird.